Okay. Okay, good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We will kick off our program with a musical performance of traditional Latvian music by the trio Schmitte Karkle Zinkus. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. So the next song we're going to sing is uh, exemplifies a um, so-called bourdon singing, drone note singing, which is still preserved in our traditional singing. And um, I'm going to sing a long note. You'll hear me and see me singing a long note. If you feel sorry for me, you can help me out and actually sing along the, the one, only one note. Uh, will tell us uh, 
will tell us about the one virtue which comes from our ancestors, that every obstacle in our lives can be overcome by singing. As easy as that. sung after 12 o'clock, but we'll make an exception for you today. So this is a uh, story that tells how ladies are drinking beer.
after these couple of days in Jurmal and Riga in Latvia, some of you will find your significant other. So this is a wedding song.
watching the shortest and most mysterious night of the year, Midsummer Night. So the next two examples will be of those songs of Midsummer Night. <laughs> indeed for this very wonderful music. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with me Her Royal Highness, Prin Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden. Please take and come to your turn. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with me Her Excellency Ms. Leimdotter Straujuma, Prime Minister of the Republic of Latvia. <laughs> and again, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with me Ms. Zanda Kalninja Lukashevica. She is the Parliamentary Secretary, Minister of Foreign Affairs here in Latvia. Please welcome. <laughs> uh, 
And last, indeed not least, in this very beautiful city, we have the mayor of Jurmala. This is Katis Truxnis. Please come here. Thank you. Thank you. You may take a seat. This Leidendor das Raumjuma, Prime Minister, the floor is yours. Your Royal Highness, Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden, Prime Minister of Lithuania, Mutkiewicz, Mayor of uh, Major of uh, Jurmal City, Gatti Struxnis, and Zanda, <laughs> Member of Parliament, Excellencies, dis distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is a privilege to welcome you to Latvia and to Jurmala for the sixth annual forum of the EU strategy for the Baltic Sea region. I can think of no better location for this event than the, than the city of Jurmala, traditionally the meeting place of merchants and travelers, a place to to accumulate energy and strength for new deeds ahead. I am convinced that today's gathering will give the EU strategy a new momentum. Your Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, the Baltic Sea region has enormous potential. It is an engine of growth and trade. It is a hub of innovation and the bridge of connectivity. This is reflected in the priorities of uh, the Latvian presidency of the Council of the, the EU to make Europe more competitive, more digital, and more engaged. And it is chaptered in the theme of the annual forum, achieving equality. Because despite the progress we have made, there is more we can do. We can boost transport and energy links. We can do more to improve the ecological situation of the Baltic Sea. We should realize the benefits of the digital age. But where the EU strategy for the Baltic Sea region provides the framework, it is our people, societies and economies that uh, provide the energy. So I, I am delighted to see a wide representation from, uh, here from the European Commission, national governments and local authorities, business and civil societies rep represented, as well as scientific community takes part. It is this network of people, this web of connections, which is the driving force of the Baltic Sea region's integration and prosperity. Your Royal Highness, ladies and uh, gentlemen, I am convinced that our discussion will not only strengthen these ties. They should give vision to the strategy and help us translate our vision into action and deliver concrete benefits to citizens. The Baltic Sea region has long been an area of the forefront of trade and commerce in goods and services, as well as in ideas and knowledge. In 2015, it should also stand for dynamism, sustainability, and connectivity. By harnessing our collective strengths and working together towards a common vision, I believe we can do just that. Distinguished guests, let me once again extend a warm welcome to everyone here today. I wish you all to engage in fruitful discussions. Thank you and good wish. Thank you so much, Prime Minister Srauduma. May I ask you uh, 
Ms. Uh, Kalninia Lukasiewicza to make your statement. Thank you. Your Royal Highness, Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden, Prime Minister Stroima, Prime Minister Butkevichus, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is a real honor and pleasure to welcome you all in my ho beautiful hometown, Jurmala, the place to enjoy the sea breeze, nature, architecture, and cultural life. It is a place to meet and to come back. And the location and focus of today's forum underline the importance that is attached to the Baltic Sea. It is a sea of opportunities that binds us together. At the outset of our six months EU presidency, we put forward an ambitious agenda, but practical agenda, to make Europe more competitive, more digital, and more engaged. These aims are central to our vision for Europe, but also for the Baltic Sea area. So it is no coincidence that the forum theme shines with our presidency priorities. Achieving equality by connecting the region is a pledge to shape a more competitive and digital region. It is a platform to build new digital bridges to connect our economies for citizens who travel, study, and work across borders, for companies that do business together, and for scientists who collaborate on cutting-edge research. The digital economy is not just a result of growth, but a source of it, and we have to capitalize on its potential by breaking down barriers to trade, making it easier and more efficient to communicate and cooperate, and by underpinning the economic benefits with social wants, making sure Digital just, that doesn't just mean growth, but sustainability and inclusivity. Equality as well as e-quality. Because rapid advances in telecommunications, the internet and smart technology can help us harness social goals, such as by bringing ordinary people closer to their institutions and representatives or by making digital interconnections quicker, simpler, and cheaper, and ensuring digital opportunities are accessible to everyone. During Latvia's presidency, we have sought to add new momentum to the EU's digital work track by driving progress on a digital market strategy that eliminates online borders and increases connectivity by facilitating discussions on digital skills to ensure our citizens are equipped for both modern society and the international job market, and by promoting a digital infrastructure that is integration in traditional, traditional sectors like transport and energy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an agenda for Europe, but it's an agenda for the Baltic Sea region too, where there is even greater potential for digital integration. Our economies are business friendly, innovative, and high performing, bound not just by coastlines, but culture, not just borders, but values, as well positioned not just to support a digital agenda for Europe, but to champion it. I hope today's discussions take us a step closer to turning this vision into reality. I thank you very much for your attention. Thank you so much, Ms. Kalinia Lukasiewicza. Thank you. And now we have the mayor of this beautiful city, Jurmala, Katis Truksnis, please. Your Royal Highness, Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden, uh, Your Excellency Prime Minister uh, of Latvia, Leimdot Straujem, Your uh, Excellency Prime Minister of Lithuania, uh, Mr. Butkevich, Excellencies, Honorable 
forum participants. It was so good to hear so many flattering words dedicated to your mall city from the previous speakers already, and I uh, assure you every uh, word is true. <laughs> Uh, on behalf of uh, Jurmal City, I'm truly happy to welcome you to the biggest and, we believe, most beautiful resort city in the Baltic Sea region. It is a true joy to welcome you in the Interi Hall, which has been included in the Latvian culture canon and has no equivalent elsewhere in the world. It is only natural that this forum takes place in a city on the seashore which has been historically developing as a popular tourist destination, yet over the course of time has become one of the leading centers in the Baltic Sea region in the fields of health, culture, active recreation and business tourism. Mud therapy and unique nature are our main treasures and preconditions for growth. The most crucial strategic goals of the Baltic Sea region to save the sea, connect the region and increase prosperity are almost exact copies of Jurmal's goals. Any development, be it small uh, city or in a large country, cannot be imagined without taking sustainability into account. That means rational management of available resources, smart management, preserving cultural and historical values, and simultaneously introducing new values, and synergy, between different sectors, innovations, projects, countries, and people. However, in order to implement these, active planning and purposeful activity are required on all levels, at both the municipal and national level, as well as at the regional level, and the uh, strategy of the Baltic Sea region is a perfect example, and at the European Union level. How do we achieve a more prosperous and connected region with an improved environmental status for the Baltic Sea? How do we best drive the Baltic Sea region forward to make it an even a better place to live, work and do business? There are only a few of these questions. These are only a few of the questions currently discussed at the plenary meetings and included in Jurmal's daily agenda. And I believe that there is no single final answer to these questions. All of us are on our path on even a better quality of life and more sustainable development. It is important to understand that this cannot be achieved by one separate city or country. Rather, we can achieve it only by working together while keeping in mind that the beginning of everything is in ourselves and our personal choices. I wish you all a fruitful work. I truly hope that in between the plenary meetings or maybe in the afternoon you will take a possibility to stroll to the sea and walk barefoot on our golden beach sand to come up with new creative ideas for achieving the common goals. I wish you success in your work and enjoyable stay in our hospitable city. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mayor, for your nice words. And I, I have the great honor to ask Her Royal Highness Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden for her statement. Madam Prime Minister, Prime Minister, Ministers, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. The Baltic Sea connects us. It offers us challenges, just like we have offered challenges to her for a very long time, far too long. Being here, close to the beautiful, glittering Baltic Sea, reminds me painfully of our large common responsibility to stop the deterioration of the water we share. I could talk about the fact that seven out of the 10 largest marine dead zones in the world are to be found in the Baltic Sea. I could remind you of the eutrophication, eutrophication and the algal bloom, which stops us and our children from taking a swim a warm summer day. I could even talk about the fish we love to eat 
but now are prevented from consuming due to dioxins and PCBs accumulated in it. And I could report about recent studies at the Stockholm University that show that approximately 40 tons of microplastics from personal care products and cosmetics are released into the Baltic Sea every year. How come, I wonder? We have never been more well informed, but still we let the development continue day after day, month after month, year after year. It is indeed time to act. We need to cooperate as individuals and as national nations in order to find common solutions to common challenges. And therefore, I want to thank you for the invitation to this, the sixth annual forum for the EU strategy for the Baltic Sea re uh, region. A strategy which offers an important framework to our urgent work to save the Baltic Sea. But a strategy is not good enough if it remains on the paper. It has to be, it has to be implemented and that takes people. To meet in person across borders is crucial. It is crucial in large to strengthening the ties between us and further the prosperity in our region. It is also necessary though in order to implement the strategy for the Baltic Sea region, step by step, but please with big steps because we are in a hurry. It is therefore my sincere wish that you all will use this opportunity to find constructive and innovative ways to move forward in our joint effort to make the Baltic region prosper and to save our treasured Baltic Sea, the water that we share, the water, water that unites us. Thank you. Thank you so much for your very kind but also very urgent words and this is a task for us I think for the two days. So I now uh, ask you to leave the floor again but the Prime Minister Landota will stay because you are taking part in the next session. Thank you so much and you are staying a few minutes to, to listen to our talk. Thank you.